So let's do this in in Octave, Octave or MATLAB. So in this case, an Octave. So let's keep this window here quite small that we are able to to see our coefficients up here. So Octave. Let's start that. So what we need to do is we need to create our parameters here for our resonator. Let's say the frequency is 0.1 and um, let me just write this here on the in the corner here. F is 0.1 and Q factor, let's set this to 10 for our resonator and try that out. Okay, so F 0.1 Q is, is 10. Now let's define our S. Remember S was this quite involved formula here. Let's quickly type this in again. Let's hope I don't make any mistake here. F and then square root of 4 minus 1 over Q and then this to the power of two. Okay, so then, then let's um, create a test input vector here, which is creating us our input signal. So this is essentially just um, a one and loads of zeros. So let's have a look if this this is true. Yeah. So we see here. So the first. The first element is one and then the rest are just zeros. Okay, so that's done. So with that, now we can put our coefficients in convenient vectors here. So these are our our FIR coefficients. And the FIR coefficients are just our our minus one and so one here and I should add this here. That's our FIR part. So let's go back to our octave window here. So these were our FIR coefficients. So the IR coefficients are these ones here. So the um, first IR coefficient is here minus and then e to s infinity plus e to s infinity complex conjugated and um, so we put this in minus exp of s plus and then exp of conjugated from s so that's our Oops, and what I've forgotten here is actually our first coefficient. It's always easy to oversee because our first coefficient here, the one, is actually our output. And this also needs to be put in into this into this vector here because if this is zero, we won't have any output. So the so the one, this is our first IR coefficient here, and then the second one is here. Should also label this here. That's this one here. This is here our second IIR coefficient. Okay, so let's put the second one in. The second one is just um, EXP of two times real of S. So let's close the bracket here. So with that we have got all our coefficients now in there. And now what we can do is we can use our filter command, FIR coefficient, IRR coefficients, and um, our test input vector here. And so now we should have in Y our impulse response of the filter. And this is indeed the case here. So now we've got the impulse response here of our IRR filter here and um, as expected here this is a damped oscillation which is dependent on this Q factor here so if I change this Q factor here then then this oscillation will 
run shorter or longer. So for example, if I if I set this Q factor to three and the Q factor goes into our into our S, so we're getting a new S, and then we need to create new IIR coefficients and run the filter command on them and plot this. So let's do a figure two for this and um, plot this. So then we see with a Q factor of three, the oscillation decays much quicker than with the Q factor of 10. So with that, we have shown that it's pretty straightforward.